Hello, today we're going to be teaching you how to disassemble your trumpet. And this is what it should look like before you've disassembled or after you've reassembled it. And this is how your trumpet should look like on the table after you've disassembled it. Alright, now to disassembling. First, you're going to want to pick up your trumpet. You're going to hold it in the same way which you would with your left hand, so that you can operate things with your right hand. So first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull out the main tuning slide. Now, when you're tugging this, it may be a little difficult to pull out, but make sure you're pulling enough, but not hard enough to where it comes out suddenly, because you don't want it to hit the, the bell, so that it doesn't accidentally ding it and cause some damage. All right, now set that down on the table. Next thing what we're going to want to do is we're going to, want to pull out the main tuning slide. Or the first tuning slide, um, you're going to want to push down on the first valve before you do that because um, if you don't, when it's not pushed down, there's pressure so it's going to be hard to pull it out and also when you do pull it out it's going to cause a popping noise so make sure you push down on the first valve and then slowly pull it out. It should come out really smoothly and no popping noises should be made. Set that down on the table right um, above your main tuning slide. Next we're going to pull out the, the small tuning slide, the second one. You're going to want to push down on the second valve while you're putting it out. All right, I'll set that down on the table. The last tuning slide to pull out is the first one. Push down on the first valve and slowly pull that out. Set that down on the table. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, take off the off the valve caps. The other, those are the ones that are on the bottom. So just take your time unscrewing them. Um, if they're a little difficult to take off, you can get a cloth or you can use your shirt to give you a bit of better grip when pulling them out. Alright, and the last thing we're going to need to do is to take out the, the valves themselves. So let's unscrew them. And when you put them on the table, you're going to want to put them in rows. So like the first one will be the first one on the left, second, the second one will be in the middle, and the third one will be the one on the right. This is so you don't get confused and when you're putting it back together. But if you do get confused, most trumpets do come with the valves um, etched into the, the valves and the positions in which they go into. So I'm going to pull out the first valve, and I'm going to show you on the instrument itself, and the valve. right here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You can see the one, and then nothing there, and then the three. And this is the first valve, and you can tell, not just because of the holes, but because of the one that is etched into it right there. Okay. So then you're going to want to set that down. And then make a little bit of room for your trumpet. There you go, you have it disassembled. Okay, so now we're gonna put the trumpet back together and we're gonna do this in reverse order of what we did for disassembling. So first we're gonna start out by putting the valves back into it. You should, you should have put the valves in correct order for putting it back into the instrument, but just in case you haven't, um, there are etchings on the valves and on the instrument itself to tell you which one they go into. And when you put it back in, um, you can tell it's been put in right if you put it in and then you twist it a little bit and it just wiggles a little bit, but it doesn't um, 
but it doesn't just go all the way around. It just has a little bit of a nudge to it. We're going to keep doing this for the rest of the valves. When you disassemble it, this is also a good time for you to grease the valves themselves so you don't end up just disassembling and putting it back together for no good reason. All right, then for the valve caps, screw those back on. A lot easier because you don't have to worry about the valve. These ones you don't really have to worry about the order too much because they're all exactly the same. So, not too bad. Okay, now we're gonna put the we're gonna put the tuning slides back on. Now remember you're gonna, you're gonna want to push down the right the valve for when you're putting it back on so you don't build up pressure. So the first trimming tuning valve, line that up. Slide that right back on, undo it. Second valve. That back in, good. All right, and this one. Third valve. Oh. Make sure you don't put it in upside down, otherwise it won't fit. There we go. Okay, you should feel a little pressure on it. And some have a little screw at the bottom to keep it, the third valve from coming out when you're using it when you're playing. So just screw that back in if you have it. Not all the way to where it like stop the valve from moving itself, but just enough to where it, the lip doesn't go over it. Okay. And lastly, we're going to be putting in the main tuning valve. This one might be a little bit awkward. The shorter one is usually on top. But if you don't know which one, it usually has a water key at the bottom, and that always goes on the bottom. So that's an easier way to know if that's the one that goes in or not. Just push that in. All right, and there you go. We've disassembled and put it back together successfully.